I'm a disappointing result tonight in Uneaton. Do you think we deserved anything more from our performance this evening? <sighs> Not really, no. Um, I thought we were awful first half. We were quite lucky, really, uh, coming in at half-time. Uh, having equalised just before, we should have been three or four nil down. Um, and we said that we we kind of we tried to address the situation about ten minutes before half time and um, change the system. It seemed to work in our favour, um, and the balance of play changed a little bit. We stopped them playing through the lines. It was hurting us um, early on um, because they didn't capitalise. Like it should have done. We were back in the game when the equaliser came in at half time, didn't run to rave, just said, look, we're massively under par. Um, let's get out there and then we concede a, an awful goal, you know, a Sunday league um, goal. Um, I say at any level you can't concede if you if you want to go and uh, win win titles and, and cups and, and be successful. Um, we've got to be a lot better. Once we found ourselves 2-1 down, we tried everything to try and level the score late on. We had James Belshaw going up, Terry Kennedy playing as an emergency striker. But it just seems to be one of those grounds where in recent years it just hasn't fallen for us. And that seems to be the case tonight with balls into the box, just not quite dropping fast, right? Yeah, it's, um, there are a lot of disappointing a aspects. Um, but one one uh, superb effort, really, uh, on a personal level with Joe Lisa. I thought uh, he, he put balls right in the middle of the six-yard box. Far post, near post, fired across, you know, whatever kind of centre forward type ball that you'd like to get on the end of, he produced. But unfortunately, you know, we didn't time our runs. We, we weren't, weren't active enough, you know, and, and um, energetic enough or hungry enough, really, in the box, and which is very disappointing. A credit to Joe for keeping on going, um, and he's, uh, he's progressed in the last two or three weeks, that's for sure. Looking at the league position of both teams, this result would seem an upset, but coming away on a Tuesday night to a team scrapping for points at the bottom of the division, it's never going to be an easy task and there's no easy games in this division. No, um, you know, on paper, I think everyone could be forgiven for thinking that the last two games at Chorley would be absolutely rock hard and, and that we'd have, uh, you know, you start with at least a point there and if it's nil nil, then it's a good result and then you have to take advantage of, you know, the difference in, in where. We are in the league and done eaten now, to be fair. Um, but you don't take it for granted, um, and it looks like we're all prepared and and not organised. And uh, at the end of the day, the book stops with me, and that's that's my fault because the lads started in awful fashion. We looked a ramshackle outfit, um, and I'm I'm the one uh, responsible for that. So yeah, I've got to apologise for the fans tonight. You know, it's not good enough. Fans would have been pleased by Dom Knowles and Lloyd Kerry. Both came on and made an impact from the bench. It wasn't to be in the end, but good to have players at your disposal who can come on and impact. Yeah, the game. definitely. Um, you could see great, really good uh, glimpses of what Knowles is, his timing of his runs, and you know he he, he wasn't frustratingly offside like sometimes we get. Um, he times him very well, got him behind, uh, nearly scored on a few occasions. A bit more sharpness possibly could have done, uh, but there's a sign of things to come uh, with him. And uh, Lloyd Kerry got on the pitch and straight away is in the moment, um, uh, and that's credit to him. Up next is another long trip to St Albans this time in the FA Trophy. Does that come at a bad time for us trying to put pressure on, under, under, put Salford under pressure at the top of the league, or does it come as a welcome distraction? It just comes with the next game where you know we want to do well in, in the cup, and um, there's no mind games. You know we want to win it. <laughs> um, we want to do really well in the league and win it as well. Um, if possible, we just give it everything. Uh, but that's 1-18 to 18, uh, and the backroom staff. We all have to be on it. We all have to do better than today uh, to win any game. Uh, and if you win enough in any competition, you've got a chance, haven't you? You're doing well come the end of the season. But regardless of what other people do now, between now and the next league game we play, um, just fo we just focus on ourselves. You know, stay down to worth about it and, and see where it end, we end up. But, um, Again, you know, we have to be better than tonight. Thank you. Cheers.